The world's population is expected to exceed 9 billion by mid-century, and we're faced with the imminent question of how are we going to sustainably feed everybody. Aquaculture is booming around the world and is currently the fastest growing form of food production. It could very well be the future of protein. Current aquaculture practices, however, are extremely unsustainable. The issue is that conventional fish feed is mostly made from wild-caught anchovies, which devastates marine ecosystems and harms rural fishing communities. The solution? Kulisha Fish Feed, an all-natural, all-sustainable feed made from black soldier fly. These things are incredible. They feed off of organic waste and are extremely rich in nutrients. Given their efficiency in converting feed into body mass, large volumes of black soldier fly can be raised with a vastly smaller carbon footprint than any other protein source, like anchovies. So here's the plan. Welcome to Kenya, where I'm from. Aquaculture production here is currently at 48,000 metric tons and has quadrupled in the last six years. It is projected to increase tenfold to 450,000 metric tons by the year 2030. If current practices continue, the demand for fish feed will exert a huge pressure on Kenya's coral reefs and fishing villages. And there's another problem. Most farmers simply cannot afford the current feed from the market. And the feeding, I mean, the, the, food, is, the food is very expensive. It, uh, instead of uh, giving me money, I'm finding to lose money. As you can tell, there are a ton of organic scraps that are thrown out here in Kenya. Our goal is to divert some of these scraps to produce a low-cost, high-protein fish feed. We will work with the community at every level, providing alternative streams of income and ensuring that our work has maximum social impact. We've aptly named our venture Kulisha, Swahili for the verb to feed. Kulisha, fish for the future.